Scott Schober, President and CEO of Berkeley Veritronic Systems. Scott, thanks for taking time away from your shopping today yeah, and joining thanks us. Thanks for having me again. Sure. We're pulling you away from uh, your mobile and getting in those That's sales. Right, yes. So, Scott, we're seeing reports that Cyber Monday is on track to be the biggest shopping day. What are the projections? Well, well this will certainly go down in history, Michelle. This is uh, estimates of $3.36 billion just for today, Cyber Monday. And that comes pretty close to about... 3.34 estimates for Black Friday. So they're about neck and neck, but, but clearly that's up about 10% just for this year alone for, for Cyber Monday and about 21% roughly for Black Friday increase. It was a little softer last year, but, but explosive growth in both categories. Well, Black Friday is typically when retailers have promotions for items in the actual brick and mortar yes. stores. But we're seeing that a lot of retailers were having the same specials on Black Friday as well as on Cyber Monday. Does that make a difference? Yeah, yeah, it does. You make a brilliant point. And that's what's really changing dramatically. The way the shopping season is, it's not just within a certain set number of hours or particular day. This is really expanding. So there are certain uh, uh, retailers, uh, Target and Walmart, in fact, they both offered the Cyber Monday specials early as Black Friday. So it really extended it over the long holiday shopping weekend so people can get those same savings, which just drew more and more people into the brick and mortar stores as well as online. And that trend will probably continue as this uh, shopping extends as far as the buy cycle. Well, you know, Scott, I was getting a lot of notifications on yes. my cell phone mm -hmm. about items that uh, I may have been interested in with that very, very um, sometimes uh, scary how much they know what I'd be interested in. And I was doing a lot of transactions on my mobile phone. Are we seeing a big push towards that as opposed to on PCs? Yeah, good point. In fact, it's shifting about 40 plus percent is on mobile devices, the spread between smartphones and, and tablet devices. And that will continue to grow. And, and why? Think about it. We're all busy. We're all mobile. So if you're on the bus or the train or late at night, wherever it is, you can hop onto your mobile device right. and it's easier and easier to simply click and purchase things. And so. you don't feel like you're missing out on those great sales. E exactly. So which are the retailers that have been doing spectacularly well this year? Which retailers, which sites have outperformed? Well, certainly Amazon. Amazon is, is really the gorilla here. They have spent billions and billions of dollars on their e-commerce site and they've done very well. There's over 75,000 items on sale today alone just on Amazon's site. So very, very attractive for consumers, especially those with, with uh, Prime account because they want the free shipping right. and these special deals. But, but not to, to, to fall short, think about Best Buy. A lot of good sales. So they've got some of the strongest discounts on items such as iPhones or Apple Watches. They've got the steepest discounts that they have. And even Target and Walmart, they've really gone to lengths to provide promotions and deep discounts. And they've used the social media channels very well, both Twitter and Facebook to really push these deals out to this large consumer base to, to, to increase sales. Yeah, absolutely. Interestingly, though, Amazon shares down today. Any reason why? Yeah, I, I can't say why. I'm not really sure. It's kind of ironic. You would think it would explode with all the sales and the growth there. Again, their margins are very tight, but just the sheer volume in sales is astronomical. It's hard to even comprehend how they can keep up. Well, you know, Scott, certainly the big winners here are the shipping and delivery uh, companies and service providers. Yeah, think about it. UPS and FedEx, they are very busy. In fact, they had to take on UPS just for the holiday shopping right. season, 95,000 temporary workers. FedEx took on about 50,000 temporary workers just to handle the volumes. They brought in more planes, all these additional people just to handle this huge explosive growth in shopping. Well, Scott, you mentioned the volumes, and I know that you are an expert in cybersecurity. So with this increase in volume, are these sites more vulnerable to cyber attacks and hacking? Yeah, absolutely. There's, there's a huge threat out there called DDoS, which basically is when a website gets flooded with traffic and it takes the site down. So if somebody targets a particular retailer, that could cause them a lot of problems. But even more important for consumers, they have to watch out for phishing attempts where there's an right. attachment in an email that looks very convincing. If you click on it, it could download malware and cause all kinds of havoc. So be very careful what you click on when you're getting all of these troves of emails. Yeah, absolutely some tempting emails. Yes. All right, you have a few hours left of shopping, so we'll thank you and leave it there. Yes, thank Thanks you. so much, Scott Schober, mm -hmm. President and CEO of Berkeley Veritronics.